All right then, so now we have Firebase Auth initialized right here. The first thing I'd like to show you is how to sign a new user up. Now to get us started, I've already created an HTML form down here. First of all, we have an H2, which says Firebase Auth. Then we have this form with the class of sign up. Now we have a label for the email. Uh, the name of that input right here is email as well. And we also have a label for password. And the name of that input is password. And we have a button to submit the form. Also, inside the index.js, if we scroll down, I boilerplated a bit of JavaScript code as well, just to attach an event to this form right here. So we grab the form first of all, using query selector and store it in sign up form. Then we add an event listener to that, a submit event, we're taking the event object in the callback function, and we prevent the default action. So it's right here now that we want to sign a new user up. So the first thing we need to do is go to the top and import a function from Firebase Auth. And that function is create user with email and password. Some of these functions from Firebase Auth are seriously long. This is one of the longest ones. So let me just copy that so we don't have to type it out again and come down here. And we want to use that function down here to create a new user. Now, let me just paste this in and invoke it. Now, inside this function, we take in three arguments. First of all, we pass in the auth object. Remember, when we initialize the auth service, we stored that inside this auth constant. So we're passing that in right here. The second and third arguments are the email and the password, because remember, we're signing up with email and password. So we need to grab the email and password from these two form fields. This one with the name of email and this one with the name of password. So let's do that first of all. I'm going to create two constants. Const for the email, and we set that equal to sign up form, which is our sign up form. And then we can say dot whatever the input name is called. So the first one is email, and then grab the value from that. Then we need the same for the password. So const password is equal to sign up form. Spell this correctly. Sign up form dot password that's the name of the import and then dot value and then we can pass in the email and the password as arguments into this function so this goes out and it signs up the user to firebase auth with that email and password all right now this is asynchronous it takes some time to do and it returns a promise so we can tack on a then method which fires a function when this action is complete. Now this function takes in an argument which is a user credential object. And on that credential object, we have access to the user that's just signed up. So what I'm gonna do is log that to the console, console.log credential.user. So we use the user property on the credential to get access to that user, right? Now also before that, I'll output a string and that string is gonna say user created like so, and then colon. All right, so I also want to reset the form after that. So we'll say sign up form. Let me copy it from here, paste it down here, dot reset like so, and invoke it. Now also we can attach a catch block as well to fire a function if there's some kind of error. So let's do that. So we're taking the error as an argument into this function. And all I'm going to do is log that to the console if there is one, so error message. So this error will be if maybe the email has already signed up for an account, or if the password is too short, or if the password is wrong, etc. And we'll see that error in the console now. And that's all there is to it, my friends. So we grab the email and password, and then we use this function right here to sign them up. We pass in the auth first, then email, and then password. And then we do this stuff afterwards. So let's save it and give it a whirl. All right, so now we can see this form right here. I'm just going to enter in Mario at netninja.dev for the email, and then the password will just say test. Now, when we're signing up with Firebase Auth, the password has to be at least six characters long, so we should get an error back and it should be logged to the console. So, if I try to sign up, we can see the password should be at least six characters. Now, if you wanted, you could take this error and you could output it to the browser so the user knows that. What I'm going to do is just add on one, two, three, four, five here, and then sign up, and then that should sign up the user, and we should see the user object right here who's just signed up. So we can see user created, and this right here is the user object. Now, if we open this up, you can see a load of different information on the user, the access token, the email, and other things as well that we can set, like the display name. Now, we've not done that, 
and we're not going to do that but in future tutorials I might show you how to do that with Firebase 9 but we can see that the email is mario at netninja.dev now each user also has a unique ID as well which is down here so that's signing users up next I'm going to show you how to log in with a user who's already signed up and also how to log out again